Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here with St. Michael Catholic Community at Travis Air Force Base for Tuesday, 12 January. And uh, I'd like to share with you for 240 seconds some thoughts from our readings for Mass today. And the first reading I wanted to share comes out of the book of Psalms, that songbook of the Bible. And listen to this small piece that the psalmist says. Speaking of the Messiah, and of course we know it's Jesus Christ, it says, You have made him less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. We read this and we say, well, when did this happen? I don't see that. We just we don't see that understanding of, of Jesus ruling. At the same time, when was he made less than the angels? That was when he became one of us, a human being. God Almighty becomes a created being. Jesus, the man who is also the Messiah, the Christ. But the interesting thing is, is that it, we know that he was made lower than the angels, but when was he crowned above all glory? Well, listen to what the writer of Hebrews says. Yet at present we do not see all things subject to him, but we do seek Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. He who for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. The crown of Jesus, the glory of Jesus is in the cross. That is where the glory of God resides in this world. In this world, we see the glory of God, but it's hidden under suffering and difficulty and hardship. So what we find is that when we look to our own suffering, our own difficulties, we own our own hardships, consider it part of God's glory. Do it for the glory of God. Someday when the Lord Jesus returns, then all will be manifest and we will see him great, higher than the angels and all the glory and all these other things that are written of here. But at present, it's enough to see him with the crown of thorns upon his head as our, our Savior who died for the world to raise us to life. Let's give a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you and we offer ourselves to you as living sacrifices. May we too glorify you in all that we do. We thank you for the, the joyful times and the times where you, we see your deliverance. And we are grateful for the struggling times. And we know that even there, the glory of God reigns. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I hope that you have a great day. And you will be in my thoughts and prayers. Talk to you soon.